week since I made a video. Oh, I just started recording. Hello. <laughs> so it's been a few weeks since I have made a video. Um, been in transit. Finally in Blacksburg. My house is a wreck. My animals are crazy. I hate moving. It's the worst thing ever. But I did get situated with my job. Um, today was my first like full day without like computer training and stuff like that as a research tech and I'm super excited about it um, but one of the things that I wanted to talk about in this video like it, it's kind of two things but um, are interview questions and so when I first decided that I wanted to go to vet school I found this blog I'm gonna try to find the blog um, and put it in the like comment section but I don't know if I if I started or not. Um, but just know that these aren't my original things. I got this off something. Um, but interview questions. Uh, you know, you that's one thing that I think a lot of people freak out about. I'm really good at interviews because I don't like feel pressure when I get asked tough things. I just I don't know why it's like a built-in whatever. Um, and actually found out that my job, I'm the very first person they ever hired over the phone without meeting them in person. So I was like, <laughs> um, yeah, so interview questions. Yeah. So if you aren't somebody who, you know, thinks quick on their feet or, um, is well prepared, that's something that you definitely want to do is just Google vet school interview questions. There were a lot on there that I read that I had no clue what they were talking about and so I I literally I had my interview questions here and then I'd Google like what is this I don't understand what does that mean um, and it really taught me quite a bit about the veterinary profession things that you don't really know about which kind of like leads into like the second thing um, so one of the questions in this one set of interview questions that I was reading was called um, how do you feel about terminal surgeries? And I was like, I don't even know what a terminal surgery is. So I googled it. It's, you know... So, the one thing that I have a hard time with is I really, really, really struggle with animal abuse, um, just like basically anything bad to animals. Like, it doesn't just like upset me, it like affects me. Like, to the point of, like, I had to go see a shrink about it at one point because I get so, like, fixated on things that I sit there and I obsess about it. Not a good quality for me, but it's reality. So, terminal surgeries are surgeries that, um, that vet students do, and they're typically called dog labs, where they have dogs come in that are marked for euthanasia in shelters and they are used as subjects in um, surgeries and at first I was kind of like what because to me it just seemed jacked up like okay you bring in this completely healthy dog you do all these random surgeries on it and then you euthanize it and I didn't know how to like process that I you know I was just getting all dramatic about it um, and so I talked to my husband. I was like, you know, what What if I can't do this? What if I can't deal with it? You know, and he basically just said, you know, that's part of vet school. You, you know, you... I mean, there are schools out there I learned where you can opt out of it. But one thing that I'm am very... I'm trying hard to do is when I read something, I go ask an actual vet about it. Because you have all these animal activists keyboard warriors just out there just saying all this crap they don't have any idea what they're talking about um so I went and the vet that I was shadowing at the time I asked her I said what do you think about these can you talk to me about this because I don't understand and she actually had told me and she made me feel a lot better about this that you know the dogs that are coming in they're actually marked you know like I said for euthanasia and she had opted out of doing the surgery and she regrets it to this day because there was a surgery that they were going to do in vet school I don't remember what it was something about maybe like their stomach getting twisted um, and the very first time she ever performed it was on somebody's pet 
and she said that she'd give anything to go back and be able to use that on <coughs> a live dog in school and thinking of it in that way is really good it's you know it's sad to know that there are animals out there who are getting euthanized for no reason other than they don't have a home but that's just kind of the world we live in right now with all the puppy mills and all the people breeding and people not spaying and neutering and it's just one of those issues that you know in reality like it's you know that's part of it um and so that's something that you know it's going to be hard for me you know it may not bother you it may not bother you know whoever but for me that's going to be tough um and there was also like questions in the interview like if like um your veterinary practice if they um have some kind of deal with the local shelter and you have to come in and, and euthanize 50 cats are you going to be able to do that and it's like jesus i can't imagine how awful of a day that is um let's see what were some i pull, i have the interview questions here let me look through them But just random questions like an owner brings in a young healthy dog and wants you to euthanize it because they will be moving out of state. What do you do? You know, and a lot of these, it's it's funny, it's, a lot of them are ethics questions. Um, you know, you, here's another one. Accidents happen in every profession. What if you kill an animal by accident? What would you do? You know, stuff like that. And that's what I, I've asked, like... You know, I, I take these questions when I read them and I go to whatever vet and I'm like, what would you do? You know, because everyone's going to kill someone's pet at some point. That's I've read that more than anything is that you will kill an animal. And you're like, that's great. Um, you know, so you have to be able to like process how to, you know, deal with that and how to be able to tell somebody. Um, and so that's why I think it's a really good thing to go through the interview questions because it'll introduce you to maybe some things you weren't familiar with just by like normal shadowing um but i'm i'm dealing with a lot of like i'm in my head a lot especially with this research job you know i have to be a part of a lot of euthanasia i mean it's, it's big in research and i knew that going in but it it makes me so sad when i see the little rabbits and i'm like but that's one big reason why I want this job is because I get to be the person who takes care of these animals. And, you know, while their life may not be super long, you know, at least when I'm in there, I can talk to them and I can, you know, whatever little thing you can do. You know, it, it may not be a huge thing, but it's something that makes me feel better. So, I don't know. Hard stuff's hard, but... You, you got to have good people to talk to. I think that's the biggest thing is have really good people to talk to. Um, you know, my husband's really good for me to talk to because he doesn't, I mean, he obviously likes animals, but he doesn't have this, like, internal dying whatever thing I have going on. So he, it's, you know, good to hear his side of things. Um, so, anyways. So, yeah, so if you want to get a little bit of a, you know, leg up on things just google vet school interview questions and read them all just save them on a document and go through all of them and go through them with somebody too because you may say something like i'm real bad about like saying something that's like not okay because i don't have a good filter and so if i like said an answer and the person's like don't say that you know so it's it's sometimes it's nice to have somebody like reciprocate it so anyways well, I hope you guys got through this freezing last week. It's supposed to warm up this next week. It's been eight where we are. Good times, good times. So, anyways, hope you guys have a good night, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.